hey guys so today i am running a couple errands for my airbnb i have a guest that checked out yesterday morning and i have a new guest checking in tomorrow afternoon so i need to pick up the comforters in which i dropped off at the laundromat to get washed um and my laundromat only takes cash so i need to um take out cash from the bank and pick up the comforters drop them off at the airbnb property so that way when my cleaning crew gets here tomorrow morning to clean they have the fresh clean comforters to use okay mm -hmm. those are my blue bags waiting for the lady to come to give me my bags all right got my laundry bags in the back off to my airbnb now to drop them off all right so here i am at my airbnb this is a mailbox that i have out here because since this was our primary home um i did switch over our mail to be received at our current residence but we still do get some mail here so i have this here with a lock and i just come and check it and take the mail whenever necessary so I have this combination uh, keypad so that I can easily change the code and give my guest, uh, you know, I use the last four digits of their phone number and that's how they um, come in. So let me enter Michael. And it easily unlocks. Now, this house, my guest checked out and I haven't been here since. So let's see what condition they left it in. So let's see. So far, everything seems okay in the living room area. All my vases, everything intact, nothing broken. Uh, I left here seems like one of my throw blankets that I leave on the living room. Of course, we will wash that. Dining area seems okay kitchen let's turn on the lights seems okay no dishes that's good some things in a dishwasher which my cleaning crew will take care of air fryer seems okay Refrigerator, they left it empty, which is good. Oh, some grapes, the cleaning crew will take care of that. Freezer, oh, little ice cubes, that looks cool. Yeah, I like those. All right, my cleaning crew will take care of that. Throw out the trash, no trash, great. Now let's see the rooms. First room. Looks okay. Yeah, just, you know, obviously the dirty sheets that we will wash. Everything else looks good. Okay. Bathroom. Okay. Everything looks good. Nothing seems to be broken. Shower glass door. Good. Okay. Not bad. Washer and dryer. Seem to be okay. Let this air out. Seems to have some moisture in it. Other room. Okay. There's 30 sheets. The norm. Uh, what is this? A broken drawer. Probably just needs to be aligned better. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully that can be fixed. Closets. Empty. Beds seem a little out of place but uh nothing crazy okay so far everything looks pretty okay let's check out okay master bedroom let's see here all right um everything looks pretty good just dirty sheets of course that will wash but my vases are good bathroom 
seems okay besides the normal dirtiness. Everything's here, nothing's broken. So that's good. Just make sure on this side. Okay, my nightstand and all right. Looks good. So these guys were great. Let's check out the backyard. Oh, they left pool towels there. Okay, perfect. They rolled them up and left them there. Of course, we will wash them all. Either way, uh, let's see the back. Okay. Pool looks okay. They didn't leave anything. Um, these guys didn't have kids. Usually when there's kids, they leave toys and things, goggles, floaties sometimes in the pool, which is not great. But anyways, everything else looks okay. Chairs are not broken. I leave this here so that they can, you know, have some floaties and things like that. Some guests have left some floaties and these are just extra things that we just need to organize a little better so that can close. These chairs are okay. My lounge chairs are okay. So this is pretty dirty. We do need to clean this floor. Oh yeah, it's a lot of dirt. And something has been digging a hole here. And I have no idea what's digging a hole here. Last time the guests left, I found this like this also. So I don't know, some animals digging a hole here. I have no idea what. Look at all this dirt. But okay. I mean, everything looks fine. They left everything fine, so I will give them a good review. Hopefully, they leave me a good one in return. So now I'm going to get things ready for my cleaning crew so when they come tomorrow. So this back door here in our backyard is a shed area. This used to be my utility room. I had the washer and dryer out here, but I didn't like coming outside to use the washer and dryer. So I, I moved it to the inside of the house and now this is sort of a storage. And this is where we keep our supplies. I have a combination lock. So either myself, my husband, or the cleaning, whoever's cleaning can just open it and we don't have to worry about the key. We do need to organize this a little better. We have not gotten to it, but this is where we keep tools and extra linens and all the supplies, cleaning supplies and everything for the cleaning crew. We have extra paint for when we need to touch up, things like that. All right, so I noticed I was low on supplies. So I just came here to Target to get some things that I need for the Airbnb and also some personal things. If I was just shopping for the Airbnb, I would have just went to Dollar Tree, which is right there, but I also gotta get personal things, so why not just kill two birds with one stone? All right, guys, so I am back from buying the things that I needed, and I just wanted to show you guys, this is my welcome basket that I leave for my guest. Uh, here we have a welcome sign that pretty much says all of the house rules and some important information, checkout times, basic things like that. And then here we have a guest book for the guest to sign, you know, it's just to have like a little memory. Um, maybe they write down some information, their name, the date, uh, where they traveled from, how the weather was, uh, your favorite place to eat, special moments, and some other thoughts. So we have a couple guests that have signed in on that, which is nice for guests to read through when they're here. And then I have a couple essentials, kind of like a in case you forgot type of thing. So here's hand sanitizer, can never have too much of that. Q-tips, dish soap, I leave a brand new one for each guest with an individually wrapped sponge. Uh, shampoo and conditioner just an extra washcloth in case they need to use it either in the bathroom kitchen wherever they want to use it. it's brand new two bars of soap one for each bathroom a deodorant that I believe it's uh, unisex girls or guys can use it so in case they forgot it 
Here's a toothpaste in case they forgot. Here's, I get these at the Dollar Tree um, trash bags. It brings 13 uh, kitchen trash bags. So I always have my cleaning crew open it, leave one in the trash can, and then I leave this for them. And this should be good enough throughout their stay. I leave two water bottles. Sometimes guests fly in late night or whatever the case may be and they're just so tired and thirsty so it's nice to have some water as soon as they come in and some snacks this has some cookies some gummies this is also from the dollar tree and these i pick up at target which are some mariquitas and this is a staple here in south florida so i think it's nice to come to florida and have a florida traditional snack and it's tropical, it matches my decor, so I really like to include that. So, that is my welcome basket. Um, there are some things that other people include that I don't, and there's some people that don't even use one at all. So, either way, this is what I include. I am thinking of later on, or soon actually. I did see this website that they sell like hotel supplies, and I'm thinking of getting these little kits that bring already the shampoo conditioner body wash and a lotion they come you know with the matching set and you can get whatever type of theme you want if it's tropical mountain depending where your airbnb is and it's a pretty good price um so i might be doing that soon but for now this is what i got i'm gonna put everything all together and i usually just leave it set up here in the kitchen looking pretty so yep I'm gonna leave this ready so when my cleaning crew comes tomorrow, they can do their cleaning and just leave that there and it's already ready for them.